Hey guys, good day to everybody. Welcome to Doug's World Tour. You are most likely watching uh, something here on the vending playlist and uh, we welcome you to subscribe. We only have uh, about a 25% subscription rate for the people that uh, watch our vending videos. Uh, we put these on uh, as a educational uh, factoid, hopefully to avoid a lot of the questions. Uh, the same questions over and over. Um, to our surprise, our biggest video for the vending tips is the repair of the CoinCo validators. That's our strongest video for whatever reason. You guys are still fixing these. Not something I encourage. Uh, we're an MEI house and uh, we we sell a lot of them guys for what you can repair your coin co for just a few bucks more you can uh, add an MEI but what we are going to work on today or educate you on and I couldn't find anything really on YouTube on the AC500 hoppers there are several and I have uh, a couple of them here and I will have another video follow up uh, on the brand new compact hopper that is available through us via American Changer Corporation and uh, it's a great hopper it's a little pricey 350 bucks so the reason for this video is we're going to show you hopefully uh, how to repair your old money controls hopper um, there is a little part that is commonly uh, bad and uh, we are actually doing a little experimenting we have an engineer and uh, he is in the 3d printing business so we're hopefully going to bring you that part and bring some of those money control hoppers uh, back to life. Save you that 350 bucks. So anyways, all right guys, I'm on a, I've got a bench full of stuff here. Let me move my camera and we will get on with our presentation here. As you can see, I'm going to get these hopper extensions out of the way first, but I want to show you how there are some different, different designs. This one here has the baffle in it and that of course takes the weight um, off the hopper off off the wheel itself okay so there is how it sits these other ones are a little bit smaller they have a different baffle that goes front to back sits and it's a little stubborn here Anyway, it sits basically in the same way, and then there's a third style. I don't think they make any difference. I'm not even sure what this does. If it mixes the coins around or keeps them, I just, I looked at it and didn't know we have a few of those, but uh, these are available through us secondhand for a fraction of what they would cost either new or to make them. So, all right, let me get these out of the way, and we're going to show a little testing here. We're going to show you how the dump mode works on uh, the American Changer AC500 board. Let me get everything in uh, in camera shot here. Okay, this is uh, this is the hopper that we have hooked up. This is, I think, the newest one. NH1 coin hopper has a little sticker there it tells you that if you put something foreign in there it could cause a machine problem well most of us know that okay here's what we're looking for on this board there is a red LED we don't need that and we want to dump these coins in there because these hoppers are hard to get the coins out of especially if it's in the machine you can't turn it over so there is a dump mode what you do the yellow mode button we'll call it. You hold that down, you turn it on, and when that red button goes off, it will empty every coin in the hopper until it's done. Okay? And of course you just shut it off. So very simple. Hold down turn it on, red light goes out, hopper comes back on. So that is uh, the case in this style hopper plus these money control hoppers here. 
these are a little bit more common in the early machines okay so now I'm going to unplug this always work with your board being in the off position so you don't end up with a problem alright now this one here I don't know if you can see this see those little red let me point to it see those red tabs the one I'm pointing to now nearest us is fine the other one the one that's towards the center of your wheel 90% of the time when you get a used hopper that's broken okay let me show you what I mean here is the part in question there should be two tabs sticking down this is what the quarter hits when it rocks back and forth well when that side breaks off you would think it would still work but I'm going to show you something here we will put enough coins in there to where it will come on alright we're ready we're gonna put a dollar bill in single okay here we go now see what happens three coins shorts you one now put a five in put these three away and I'm gonna show you that there are 19 coins here okay one two three dollars four dollars and we're short three it always shorts you one when you have that problem so if in fact you've got a, a hopper and it shorts you one a lot of people think it could be uh, maybe in the programming it's not because there is no programming the AC 500 takes ones and fives okay unless you turn the fives off at the dip switches okay we're gonna empty this now Okay, once again, boy that's a loud hopper, that probably has no grease. Alright, now I'm going to show you where this little part is. Be back out here and I'm going to show you how to disassemble these hoppers real quick. It's not hard. Servicing your equipment is important. Alright, what you start with here is carefully take your sold out wires off okay you do it this way you spread the frame here just a little bit okay that comes right off it has a couple a couple of notched pieces of plastic there that goes in okay your chute lifts out now what we do here is we need to, with our trusty 11 30 seconds nut driver that I encourage everybody to own at least one of and if you can buy two put one in your truck and one in your bench. It is the most commonly used tool here. Alright, so we take off the three mounting screws and normally you don't have to I didn't want that to fall out yet normally I'm gonna unplug it here because I kind of know how to do it all right save a little time now what you have left here is the gearbox okay now it's very easy to service your fingers in here this will lift out completely there's no latches there's no nothing holds it in except when you put the balance of the uh, the plastic parts back on it so now you have okay now we can see a little bit better that broken tab in there and we're going to disassemble this here in a second 
and take it out so you can see what we're talking about. It's not hard. It's only got uh, four screws, five screws. I like to do normally. Let me make sure we're everybody can see here. All right, that red painted screw in the middle. I guess they thought they were going to avoid the warranty if uh, if you dismantled that. Uh, as a washer here, sometimes the washer is stuck on. What I normally do is I get my biggest flat screwdriver. These are a little bit tight sometimes, and I just push that wheel out. Okay, that can lift off. These can be a problem, however, most of them secondhand are good. Okay, your wheel comes off a lot of times. What you're going to find is you're going to find string, and we don't know why. It almost looks like dental floss, but it might be bank bag strings. I guess that's what it would be. Anyways, wound up in there, or this plastic shaft breaks in half. It just breaks right up here because there was a coin jam. All right, now our main assembly, and we're getting to the point where I made this video to show you our new project and where where this little, we'll just call it the red part because it's really the only red part. I guess I ought to take this spring off of here. All right. That way it doesn't jump out at us. I have not found a bad hopper board in years on one of these. It's been it's been 10 years. They normally hold up pretty well. This one has a date stamp of looks like the 32nd week of 98. So now here's something you gotta watch for. I dropped one and I had to sweep up to find it. See that little, you probably can't even see it because it blends in, that little black cover for the lens, okay? That, let's hold me up here. All right, now, the spring falls out. I'm gonna show you this piece. This is a piece that you will probably drop once. How tiny it is. Anyways, that covers your lens. Now, I kind of know how to take these out of here, so I'm doing it a little quicker maybe. See that red lens? Has to go on like that, okay? When you reassemble it, you can put this down, kind of hold it together. Um, you see that ceramic disc capacitor there, that orange guy? Well, when you put this back together, that has to slide underneath the gear set, okay? Now this has been cleaned already and we used synthetic grease, okay? Now, I'm going to zoom in here best I can. Oops. All right. See that little piece that rocks back and forth? It will obviously go the other way when it has the spring on it, but that's where that spring goes. It goes from this post over here to here. Okay, and I don't want to put the spring on it because there's nothing holding this down. This could jump out. So anyways, getting back to our little project. This piece is the one in question that has the broken tab on. Okay. Now, why this shorts one coin? <laughs> I wish somebody could tell me. I would think this would still work, but it doesn't. So guys, here is your gear sets. These are the same size gears as, say, an American Changer, uh, AC-1001, Green Hopper, Black Hopper. Um, they're all the same gears, so they interchange. These are great in the secondary market because for the most part, these AC500 hoppers did not live long enough to wear out the gears. But the big ones, a little bit different story, as they hold $500 to maybe $800 of the coins, a lot more weight. So, anyways, guys, I hope uh, I hope this taught you a little something about the AC500. We will have a follow-up video here in the next couple of weeks that will have. There's our green. There's our 
board for AC 500s. Anyways, we'll have a follow-up video, and it will have the brand new compact hopper. We'll do an unboxing and we'll test it, and that would run on the green display boards. So the hoppers, the new ones, the compacts, they come either way. You have to tell us if you have the earlier style board with this plug-in, the big plug-in that we're all used to. See it next to the transformer there, or green display whether it uses a small plug-in like the Evolutions or the brand new green stripe hopper. So anyways guys, we appreciate your patronage. Hopefully this answers a few questions. Doug at Doug's World Tour. Vending channel. Please subscribe. Out.